pollination is as beautiful as it is essential. The action of transferring pollen from one flower to another is necessary for fertilization and seed production. This intricate balancing act has been around as long as there have been flowering plants. If you look closely, you can see the pollen baskets on the legs of this bee stuffed close to bursting. Seventy-five percent of all flowering plants need pollinators. In the U.S., that would include $15 billion per year in food crop production. It is not just bees and butterflies that aid as pollinators, but moths, beetles, wasps, flies, ants, and birds, like the hummingbird, also have vital parts in this process. While some pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, will visit almost any flower, most pollinators are restricted to only visiting one or a few closely related plant species. Because plants form the foundation of our ecology, our natural systems would break down without pollinators. The dramatic decline in the monarch population and bee colony collapse disorders can be interpreted as warning signs that our pollinators are in trouble and need our support. What can you do? Plant native plant gardens, build appropriate nesting structures, limit pesticide use, and cut back on your mowing. With your help, this beautiful, intricate, and necessary process will go on and benefit future generations. <laughs>